I train myself. Kido at night, boxing, mid of the night. So this is why I can live 80 years old, looks like a 60. So in this video, I will talk about Jackie Chan's Hapkido history. I think we all know that Jackie Chan is a very accomplished uh, martial artist. Did you know that he has a black belt in Hapkido? Jackie, he started his Hapkido training in the late 70s under the teacher Jin Paul Kim. Jin Paul Kim is a high-ranking instructor. He was again trained under the great master Ji Han Ye. <laughs> In the 1960s, Kim was a member of the South Korean President Chung Hee Park's Secret Defense Force. And in 1966, Kim drew the job of personal bodyguard for the United States President Lyndon B. Johnson. In the early 1970s, Kim moved to Hong Kong and he opened a Hapkido school. Kim's high precise kicking techniques drew a number of Hong Kong film stars to his school. Because until Bruce Lee exploded on screen, most Hong Kong movie features low to mid rank kicks, but Bruce Lee, he changed all that with his high jump kicks. <laughs> and uh, that again created a demand for more dynamic kicking techniques on uh, Hong Kong martial art movies. In those days, most Hong Kong martial art movies contain only traditional Chinese weapons and mainly animal hand techniques taken from Kung Fu animal forms. Their hand techniques were fast and powerful, but something else was needed, something more realistic. And then Bruce Lee came along and made a name for himself and he changed the history of uh, martial art cinema. The audiences really liked Bruce Lee's high kicks so much that the, the other actors had no choice that they had to learn Korean kicking techniques. Here is where Jackie Chan comes into the picture. Jackie began his Hapkido training under Kim in the late 70s. Kim recalls, when Jackie Chan first came to my school, his kicks were not very good. Most of his stunts involved rolling and gymnastic techniques that Jackie learned from the Chinese opera. However, with flexibility, tumbling sparingly, Jackie Chan quickly learned Hapkido. Jackie eventually earned a black belt in Hapkido, learning all phases of the art, especially in self-defense kicking. He was especially partial to aerial maneuvers such as flying side and back kicks, double front kicks and flying scissor kicks. Jackie Chan's favorite Hapkido technique is probably a kick known as eagle jumps and catches its prey. Jackie has even taught Hapkido to the 20 stuntmen that works under him. Jackie demands realism in his fight scenes and each of his stuntmen are skilled in kicking, joint locking and throwing. Today, Jackie is the top box office attraction in Asia, largely thanks to his Hapkido training under Kim. Kim recalls that even after Jackie became famous, Jackie was still one of the hardest working people I've ever met. He took his Hapkido training very seriously, practicing for hours at a time. Jackie's love for Hapkido and its art form has been shown in two of his own directed movies, The Young Master from 1980 and Dragon Lord from 82. Here we can see Jackie Chan facing the Grandmaster in Hapkido, Wang Ying-Sink, Jackie gives Wang Ying-Sink real good time to shine and demonstrate his Hapkido on Jackie Chan. <laughs> and here is what Hapkido Grandmaster Wang Ying-Sink has to say about the fights. Young Master Dragon load all my technique. I choreograph myself. Jackie Chan still make put in the blanket and pad. Now, now they have a lot of good pad. But at that time, not much good pad. Just a kind of a little bit weak pad. I'm kicking. But it's good because Jack Chen, he receive well. Because he get used to stuntman that way. I wear the long shirt, but Jack Chen was short shirt. This all scar. And Bruce. Yeah, was it like that? So, the next time you watch Jackie Chan kick the daylights out of a bad guy, 
just watch all the techniques that bear a strong resemblance to Hapkido. It's all due to his training in Hapkido under Grandmaster Jin Pal Kim. So there you have it, that's uh, Jackie Chan's Hapkido history. I hope you learned something new today and found this video insightful. So um, see you around.